this uh, this apartment has a pool. Here we are in Brooklyn. We got off at Morgan. That's the stop you see right here. This is the immediate area by the train. This might not look like much, but it really turns into an awesome neighborhood. I guess you could consider this Bed-Stuy. It's like a warehouse district. And there's a truck here that just won't move. Definitely one of the more unique parts of the city, but I think it's cool. Over here, there's like a bunch of little stores and shops. This one appears to be a coffee house. The Swallow. That's what you do with your coffee, you swallow. It. This must be for some restaurant. Wait, these are empty. What's going on over here? Okay, maybe it is for a restaurant, but where's the restaurant? Over here, we got this cool little greenhouse, and next to it, there's like a natural market. Roberto's. Is this a restaurant? I think so. I bet on like a Friday evening, this looks totally different. I also love how there's a jet ski just randomly hanging out. Over here, we got a bunch of other shops and cafes. You can see them. When in doubt, just look for the string lights. That'll tell you where to go. This local cafe is really good. Even on a rainy day, there's always people here. The only problem is I'm too much of a caveman to pronounce the name. Um, so you'll just have to stop by. It's like five minutes from the apartment. Beacon's Closet, not sure. I might not actually be cool enough to live here because I can't tell what any of this stuff actually is. That's how Brooklyn works. It's deliberately confusing to people who don't live in Brooklyn so that people know right away if you come here and you're like trying to be part of it, they'll be like, oh, that guy, he's not from here. Then we got Vegan Cuisine right over here. Wow, whoever made this is seriously talented. In fact, most of the street art over here is amazing. It is kind of everywhere. That's just something you'll have to take into account if you want to live anywhere in Brooklyn, not just here. See that over there? That is the local Cobra Kai Dojo. It looks like they'll teach you how to punch people in the face and body slam them. That sounds like a program that'll help you protect yourself. And conveniently, right next door, there's a Tex-Mex Cafe. After you get in the best shape of your life, you can undo all of that right here. That is the building. Way up there, you can see some of the stuff on the roof, which is pretty sweet. place the kitchen's super high end there's a dishwasher laundry in unit right there bathroom is an absolute home run but the reason to live here is because of the amenities this is the front entrance we have a full-time doorman door woman door woman I'm sorry please don't kick me out she said that I have to be on good behavior look at how interesting it is there's like a piano over here and then up here there's what looks like it could have been a tree house. I don't see a dangerous ladder, which is probably a good thing. I think you get in up there. This is one of the rarest of all New York City apartment features. And look at those ceilings. This is like total wow factor here. Really hot in here too. When I heard that this building had a pool, I thought it was gonna be like some tiny little thing. But not only do they have this stuff in here, outside they have other uh, it looks like hot tubs. There's like three or four of them. This is like a total hangout spot over here. And uh, the last time I was on vacation, they wanted us to pay extra to get for one of these uh, cabana things. But here I just guess you have to be first. That's how it works. Arcade! They got Pac-Man, Batman, Mario, and they got hoops. How, what? <laughs> How is that possible? I hit the T but not the ball. Now next to the golf, there's also bowling, which I am equally awful at. What's this thing, 12 pounds? I might not be strong enough. Now before anyone calls me a Debbie Downer, you need a resident password to access this thing. And uh, I conveniently don't have one. Over here's the gym. It's actually a two floor system. I say system because there's a rock wall. I'm not healthy enough to use any of the equipment in here, especially the rings. Man, that looks dangerous. And they have dumbbells that exceed the 
the capacity of non-performance enhanced residents. Second level up here, this looks like it's all cardio. Why does no one, well, except for like one person do cardio? Over here, we got the snack machine. These are constantly refilled with vitamin water. Oh, I love vitamin water. I was just given a free one that uh, that's never gonna happen to me again. So let's all enjoy it, thank you. This is the common kitchen slash restaurant. I guess if you wanna throw a birthday party and have a cook-off, that's the right oven for it. And then there's like tables over there. I see some taps. And then this is probably the coolest room. Look at this, these are all little beverage coolers. I haven't seen too many luxury buildings with a wine tasting center. This is the game room. They've got these swinging rope chairs. Then there's this game, I guess, shuffleboard. Whatever it is, I'm terrible at it. But they've also got a couple of foosball tables, a pool table, which is, I guess, being upgraded. And then there's another kitchen, which is nice. I mean, again, having a get together or whatever, you don't have to like hang out in your apartment. You can hang out down here. This is probably the least exciting room here. It looks like some sort of conference room, but that could be useful. A lot of people work remote or whatever. And what's also sweet is before you leave for the day, there is a little cafe right here in the building. That's really convenient. And uh, the best thing about it is it's it's not a Starbucks or a Dunkin' Donuts. That would be awful. Oh, I've seen this at like one other building. You can rent like a vacuum to clean your apartment or a servant robot vacuum to do it for you. That probably costs more. You can even rent some toilet paper, but hopefully you have your own in your apartment already. day to be up on the roof because it's kind of rainy. But not only is it landscaped with cool little spots like this where you can hang out and see the view, there's also like a dog run over here. It's got everything. Now we're gonna check out this studio and a two bedroom down the hall. If you wanna rent any of these, I'll have the agent's contact in the description. And if you have fun watching, subscribe. After you come in, you can just throw your stuff right by the door. And the layout here is really an efficient design. And what's impressive is just how big of a kitchen they fit here. All the appliances are nice. There's lots of cabinets, which is great. And check out the counter space. You could actually use the stove and make stuff here, no problem. Plus I like this little white table here. That's good for giving you a little extra. I suppose this could also be a rolling countertop, but this is actually really impressive. Vent up here's got a light. It's really big too. Fridge is stunning. And right next to the kitchen in here, we have the full-size washer and dryer, so you don't have to leave to clean your stuff. Then we come to the actual living space, 21 feet 8 inches by 11 feet 10 inches, and they've got a nice setup with a sleeping area and a separate sitting area. It's not a Super Bowl Sunday couch, but this totally works. You could get an entertainment center right there. So, you know, you can watch movies. <laughs> And there's this little table. We're pretty close to the kitchen. I guess you could put like a traditional dining table here instead. But this definitely works. It doesn't take up a lot of space. And there's plenty of room to walk through this and get to an area where the bed is. Now, one of the great things about a studio is that if you want something bigger than a queen size bed, you can easily get that. And there's still room on either side to get out. Plus, I feel like you could have a dresser over here in this corner. The view is also pretty interesting. We're looking out over the rest of the neighborhood. You can see some of the same types of buildings that we saw on the way here. There's a couple of cafes on the corner way over here. This is the walk-in closet. Maybe it's pretty good. It goes up nice and high. Definitely great for jackets. That's the one where the laundry is. But if it were me, I'd probably put some hooks on the wall down here by where the bathroom is. As far as New York bathrooms go, this is definitely a really good one. Just look at the size of the medicine cabinet. Look at that, it's like a tower. Look at that, I can't even reach. Okay, you can't really see. There's also storage beneath the sink, but look at the tub. You could take a bath in here and not regret it. Plus you got this fancy schmancy wand for scrubbing yourself. Okay, 
and it's as far as it opens. But we're in the two bedroom right now and this thing has awesome floor to ceiling windows. And check out the kitchen. This is definitely interesting. There's a lot of counter space, but there's also like all this shelving and stuff built around it. Plus the lights have this cool thing. Now this unit's a two bedroom, two bath. Slight differences in the overall finish. Dishwasher looks a little bit bigger and I think that makes sense. I mean, again, this is probably a place that more than one person's gonna live in. And the kitchen's built out a little bit more as well to accommodate for that. Right by the entryway, we've got a jacket closet. And after you take a shower, check this out right here. Washer and dryer, how convenient is that? Somewhat of a different vibe in here with like the wood, but we've got the big mirror as well. Check that out. The living room is 11 and a half by 14. And I guess you could have an entertainment center in a couple of different spots here, which is nice. This is the larger bedroom, nine Nine feet nine inches by 16 feet one inch. Definitely lots of space for a bed, a desk, and a few dressers. And it has a real walk-in closet. I was just in there. Cool thing about this is it has its own bath. This one looks like it's got a standing shower, but it's very nice. This looks like all the other bathrooms we've seen. This is the smaller room, nine and a half by 12 feet, three inches. Still a decent amount of space for a New York bedroom, that's for sure. Looks like the closet is exactly the same as well. So storage in here, also great. If you've got more questions about any of these places, Check out the video description for all the leasing team's contact info, and then why don't we see some more apartments? You can pick one here or here, and I'll see you in the next video.